So if you want to talk about the Quran, another Arabic lesson, learn, learn Arabic, okay. Okay. Arabic or, lesson. or listen to someone who speaks so Arabic. It, so you do agree that you can beat strike your wife? I'm, I'm but do not beat your wife as you would beat your slave girl. So there are now degrees of beating. You beat your wife in a in a more gentle way than the way you beat your slave girl. <laughs> If we attack them at night, we will endanger their women and children. And Muhammad replied, they are from amongst them. They are from amongst them. Who cares about the women and children that we're going to endanger? Which are, I'm funny I just did that question. But now let me ask you a question. No, now let me ask you a question. Did you not ask me a question and then I answered it? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. The Quran says that you can beat your wife. Do you believe that you can beat your wife? Do you know the what Quran the word Darabah means? Yeah, it means strike. It means strike. Okay, when the Quran means, says, Adrub al Ard, which means strike. Strike the land. Adrub al Ard, the Quran Arabic. said. Yeah. Does it mean hit it with your hand? Strike. No, it means plow it with a sharp blade. No, it doesn't mean that. Cut thorough straight. It actually means traveling. So if you want to talk about the Quran, another le Arabic lesson. Le learn Arabic, okay. Arabic or, lesson. or listen to someone who speaks so Arabic. So you do agree that you can beat strike your wife? You can't. I'm, I'm only <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you don't understand. Answer my question. The word Daraba. Was my question about the meaning of the word Daraba? Or was my question, do you believe that you can strike your wife? No, you can't. No, no. What was my question? No. What was my question? Do you, do you believe that yeah. you can strike your wife? So answer that question. Do you believe no. you can strike your wife? No, no. Okay, so he's better than his Quran. The Quran doesn't say that. I'm that's, what I'm that's what I'm telling you. That is exactly that's what, what I'm telling you. Humble yourself, man. That's exactly what it says. Learn, first of all, learn the Arabic. No, hold on. You want to speak about the Quran. Hold on. Sahih International was translated by Muslims. And they translate the word Tharabah as strike. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Oh! So what, what, what version of the Quran have you translated? If you're doing something and I say to you, beat it, what no. does it mean? What's that? Answer if my question. You, if I say to you, hit the rod. We're not talking about a metaphor. This is an instruction. It's not a metaphor. No, it's a, it's a it's figure. not a metaphor. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, so it's you're a, saying it's a figure fi fi of speech. Figure of speech. Ah. That's what I was so saying. So it's a figure now. of yes. speech. Figure of speech, yeah. So all the hadiths will correspond to this idea that beating your wife is just a Figure of, speech. <laughs> figure of speech. So I'm going to pull up the hadiths now. Yeah. I'm going to type into the hadiths, beat your wife, and we're going to see example after example of where it was understood simply as a figure that. of speech. Because we don't have time for it. Don't do that. We don't have time. Oh. Don't do that. Oh. Listen, I wonder why he doesn't want me listen, to do that. Listen, listen. That's always no a time. No sure. time for that. No time. Yeah, for that. No. Could you go to? Uh, I'm going. Go I'm going in. Anyway. Look. And then for Beat your wife. Let's let's let's, be let's wife. look let's look at what the man himself said about this verse. The prophet himself, when he was asked, the, the, the companions asked him, "How we do this verse?" He said, "Use use the toothpick. Show me." <laughs> Show me. Okay. Show me. So have we got wife beating from Sunnah.com? A toothpick. Like uh, like this size, you know. It's like that. Stop, stop being me. Right. Yeah. I'm just trying to make you understand. I'm I'm not beating you, by the way. Do okay. you call Do you call this beating? You call this beating because you're an ignorant. That's what the the man himself said. Okay. Is that not good enough for you? Right. So here's an example right. that shows that his argument, yeah. that where the Quran says, be your wife, yeah. is not a figure of speech. It is, yeah. Not a figure of speech. Here you go. So, Mishkat al Masaba 3260, Lakid B. Sabira told that he said, Messenger of God, 
I have a wife who has something in her tongue, meaning foul speech, so she swore a lot. He told him to divorce her, but when he replied that he had a son from her and she was a companion, he said, Get to the point. give her a command, meaning an exhortation, and if there is any good in her, she will accept it. But do not beat your wife as you would beat your slave girl. So there are now degrees of beating. You beat your wife in a, in a more gentle way than the way you beat your slave girl. <laughs> <laughs> that is the blessing that Muhammad brought to us. You want to talk about it? You want to speak to the camera? Okay. Answer that. Look, the pro the Answer pro that. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he was, he was, he was. T are you not finished? Answer the one I've just read. Okay, I'm, okay, you're not listening. I'm listening. Look, the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was teaching a, a generation that has inherited a lot of things from their forefathers so he was teaching them step by step he cannot tell them everything straight away they're not gonna do it so step by step he, he, he is teaching them so telling them not to eat pork was more important than telling them not to beat their wives that was the great blessing of Muhammad. He freed the Muslim community from okay. eating pork, okay. but it was still okay to be your wives because they couldn't yet accept the idea that it was wrong. Okay, can I ask you my question now? Answer the hadith. How many questions do you have? Okay, I, I I'll give answer. you another one. No, no, no. Sunan Abi Dawood, 2147. Okay. I'll ask you later when you're ready, okay? The Prophet said, oh, I'm not. Hey. 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 I have a question for him. Are you afraid, Bob? I want you to deal with the points that we're talking about. I've dealt with it. You haven't. No, you I said haven't. that Muhammad said beat them with a toothpick. I asked you to show me the passage and you didn't do it. <laughs> so show it to me. Don't you know this hadith? Show me. Don't, pull, it pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. What do you mean pull it up? Pull it up. I don't carry books with me. I've just managed to pull sunan.com on. You should be I, able to I, pull I'm, it up. I'm telling every, everybody knows this hadith. Okay. Where is it then? Okay. If let, everybody let knows it, you, it should be easy to find. Let, let me ask you my question. Why you Christians say that God sacrificed his only son for Changing you? Changing the topic. Yeah, Changing that, the topic. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I'm going, can, to, can I'm going to answer his question directly okay. to show you the difference between? between answering the question and jumping off the topic. I haven't, I haven't but yeah, since yeah. he has jumped off the topic, yeah. once I've answered the question, I'm going to stop. Right. So, I haven't in direct, I haven't go and ask a question. Look, don't interrupt me. You Christians say God sacrificed his only son for you. But who are you for God to do that for you? God won't sacrifice a fly for you. Who do you think you are? Okay. So I, I won't sacrifice I want to answer his question. I won't sacrifice a rat for you. I want to answer his question. Now let's see if he can listen to the answer. Ah okay. okay. Before you all, I want to say I'm a sinner. Who do you think you oh, are? Who's interrupting? Uh, Who do you think you are? Why are you interrupting? Interrupting. I'm not Why finished you interrupting? Because I'm not finished with my so, question yet. So, so in answer to the question, who do I think I am? Yeah. I think you I am a dirty nothing. sinner whose good works are but filthy rags yeah. before a holy and a righteous God. Yeah. But Thank you. Can, I believe that God's come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Son it's gonna go for the world world to die for me so that by believing in him gonna go I shall us. not die but have eternal life. Amen. No, I want to point out another hadith <laughs> hey, let, let. from a companion of a prophet Umar ibn Kal al Khattab said I have a slave girl and I used to have intercourse with her. Sex with your slaves in Islam. When I went to the girl, my wife told me to watch out because she had suckled her. Meaning that the wife disapproved of the sex with the slave. 
But rather than honour his wife, what did this Muslim do? He went to Umar. And rather than upholding the rights of the wife, what did Umar do? Umar said to him, beat your wife and go to the slave girl. So the wife objected to her husband having sex with a slave. And the companion of the prophet, rather than the defend the woman, the wife, said, said, beat your wife, beat your wife, and go and have sex with a slave girl. There we go. The West has a choice, Christ or Islam. We must choose Christ, and moral relativism is no position to hold. You can't be morally relative on domestic abuse and get on the Twitter arty streams about the Me Too movement if you're willing to accept, justify or permit the domestic abuse sanctioned in Sharia law and condemned by the teaching of Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen. Any questions, Lavin? No, JC, I am, I am going to beat you, bro. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.